on my mandala right here is the vulnerability wheel. It started out when I heard Brene Brown talk about being wholehearted, to stand in one's strength with an open heart, to have courage, to be strong. You know, this is being open-hearted, being wholehearted. The binary of that is being like this. And that's typically what I know we guys do. So I don't want you to see my underbelly. So how do I put those in context? How do I understand that frame of reference? It's a binary way of thinking about vulnerability. I'm either wholehearted or I call it brokenhearted. So let me explain. When I'm in fear and I'm in doubt, my heart is weak and it's closed. That's what I call brokenhearted. Look at it another way. I may be struggling on something. I've got a lot of courage, but I'm struggling and I'm in doubt. I could break pretty easily because my heart's open, but it's weak. In contrast, I could have an angry heart. It could be closed and strong and I'm being defensive. Well, what's underneath that, yes, I'm demonstrating my strength, but deep down inside it's fear and I'm defending myself. So that's between strength and fear, the angry heart. So you get a sense on how you can interpret the wheel. The powerful part of it for me is that at any point in time, I'm somewhere on this wheel. If I'm conscious of that and use this, have this mental model here, now I've got choice. I can say, okay, I can continue to be angry or I can move to another place. It gives me choice. That's the, the biggest thing for me. Now, there's another piece to it. There's me and there's you. Each one of us live on a vulnerability wheel. I may show up in conversation with you being wholehearted, but for whatever reason, you're angry. You're, you know, you're demonstrating your strength, you're in fear. And it's always important to recognize that, oh, okay, I'm somewhere on the wheel and I've got choice and you're somewhere on that wheel. And if you know about that, then you too have choice. And we come together, if I can stay wholehearted, if I can hold space for you knowing that something bad is happening, I can hold space long enough. There's only one place that you can end up and that's wholehearted too. So the key of it is first, how to interpret. Second, know that I'm somewhere always. Third, that I have choice. And fourth, that you have the same.